Despite being outmanned and outgunned, Pylon still got the ball rolling. The very first play of the game, and Rashad Hall knocks down the contested jumper. Good for three. But that three-love early advantage would be their biggest lead of the game. Kadeem Brathwick with the turnover, and Joel Hunt with the Euro step. He gets Celtics on the scoreboard. Hunt incidentally had a big game for Celtics. He went to the free throw line a game high 11 times and also posted a double-double. 18 rebounds and a game high 28 points. Two of them coming on this individual effort. Knowing Pylons had a very small bench, Celtics were forcing the pace. Here, Theo Greenwich gets the steal, and some quick passes allows Teron King to get an open three. He had 11. Anand Joseph Thorne making sure there's no rest for the Pine while they're on defense. He draws the attention and finds Greenwich for three of his 16. Three of Pineland's players were called on by the coach to do the bulk of the work. Darian Hurley played all but 17 seconds of the entire game and posted a team high 25 points and 12 boards. Rashid Maynard played all but 50 seconds and he had a double-double as well, 22 points and 14 rebounds, while Hall played all but 32 seconds, 15 boards and 23 points, three of them here. Still though, Celtics led by as many as 14 in the first half and were up by 12 points at the half, 54 to 42. After the 10-minute halftime break, Pinelands dialed up the defense and went on an 11-point run, reducing the deficit from 12 to just one, 57 to 58. Maynard with the big block on Greenwich. Celtics would eventually respond. Thorne, with his ability to get to the hole, had the defender on his heels, and this allows for the straight-on three that rattles home. Thorne had three threes in his 21-point performance. With Celtics keeping the intensity up to put the game out of the reach of the defending champs, High-quality defending was out the window. The Celtics won the game 90-81 to and the series two games to one, booking a place in the best of five final series against Burger King Clapper Bulls. The dates, times and venues are yet to be announced. Mark Seal, CBC Sports.